How Brainwashing Happens Technology has its good sides and bad sides. A few of the bad sides include social media addiction, giving trolls a vehicle of expression, and brainwashing. Brainwashing is something to be feared in the information age. Brainwashing happens through multiple ways. 1. Repetition of a message. 2. Strategically leaving out details and painting a narrative. 3. Fear. All these three can be done very easily with technology. Messages can be spread very quickly, quicker than ever in human history. Repetition of a message. Remember, the brain is dumb, but the mind is smart. Hopefully. The brain is just a programmable circuit board. When a message is repeated, even if it's false, the brain starts building neural pathways for it. Strategically leaving out details. This is when a certain form of media only has snippets. Controversial snippets are extremely dangerous to put blind faith in. Every content put out there has an agenda, and the snippet can be taken out of context. Fear. Control the heart and it's easy to control the mind. A lot of brainwashers strategically scare the target before planting an idea. All in all, media literacy is a particularly important topic coming up in the new ages. But what's more important is learning the art of thinking for yourself. The mind is the biggest weapon or biggest liability. A big part of thinking for yourself is upgrading your software. Remember how I said the brain is dumb and the mind is smart? Well, the brain mainly operates on the past. It runs the same thoughts that it has always been running. It's up to the user of the brain to upgrade the thoughts. That can be done with repetition and practice. Smart people know the art of unlearning. To unlearn, you need to know what to unlearn. Which thoughts are outdated and better left off in the past? One of the thoughts that I ditched in 2018 was always competing with others. I was always a competitive kid growing up, thought it was what I was supposed to do. But in the information age, competing against others is a stupid concept. After a tad bit of awareness, wisdom dawned on me. Creativity is what will be the hottest commodity in the next few years. Creativity comes from evaluating what you do best, not others. When you discover what you do best, you become like a tree. You do not sway as much when your peers are rushing from one shiny object to the next. I always found it a tad bit strange that we were encouraged to compete so much. Who passed on this belief? Charles Darwin had his survival of the fittest principle. Although well-intentioned, it's an outdated belief. It conditions a being as a fearful creature, always worrying about someone coming and taking away what's theirs. Another thing I found is that the people who are the highest in their field often cooperate, not compete. Who controls media? A few corporations, like five or six of them. They're cooperating in the back and encouraging competition for all those lower than them. Something doesn't seem right. Seems like some brainwashing is going on. It's no surprise that people are more anxious than they were before. It's because there's more noise in the external world. The key to avoid getting brainwashed is to become smarter. Become smarter by ditching the limiting belief of competing with others and instead compete against your prior day self. That's the core philosophy of the level up mentality. How well someone knows themselves dictates intelligence in the real world, not a test score. One question, Armani. Why do people try to brainwash me in the first place? Why not try to just sell me a product without ruining my mindset? Because of power. Power can make good people do questionable things and bad people do evil things. Once you brainwash someone once, it becomes easier to control them in the future. A lot of systems need a hierarchy. Propaganda was distributed centuries before us, so it's not some new concept. In this world, the mind is the best friend or the worst enemy. There's a divine side to a human. There's an animal side to a human. Question is, which one are you leaning towards?